Alright, what's up you cowards? It's me, and I'm back for another episode of this Let's Play. And you may notice a sudden change in quality, perhaps? Yeah, it took me a year, maybe, to figure out uh, some settings and stuff for the, um, the best settings for this... Um, for this uh, recording program. But uh, I'll talk about that while we continue on by talking with Alize. Uh, and I think this should complete at least um, the Tears on the Sand quest. Uh, forgive me, Atelios. I couldn't stay there a moment longer. But I was serious about what I said. While the men and women at the inn battle against this blight with kindness, I must fight in my own way. With steel. That's my girl. Miss Alize, is there something I can get you? You're swift as a morrow. I need to return to the Crystarium immediately. Uh, as you wish. We're going back to the Crystarium. Oh wow, it teleported us um, back. Nice. Ugh, remind me to wear goggles if we ever fly over Amarang again. I've barely gotten the sand out of my eyes. But the wind did help to clear my head at least. I think I'm ready to meet with the Exarch. We need to talk about how we're going to wipe the Sin Eaters out, shall we? Are you going to teleport me there or am I going to walk there? I'm going to walk there. Alright, that's, uh, that's fair. Um, where haven't we gone? I don't know. I do not know. But that's a problem for another day. Alright, we need to... Um, do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word and I would be happy to escort you to the ocular. Yee. We got some business, some... some talking to do with this, this guy. I love him so much. Look how pretty this place is, though. Like, it is everything at my aesthetic. Like, you... <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I like how he looks at us. Hello, buddy. Alright. Um, thank you for seeking me out, Atelios. It meant a lot to have you there at my side. I was tempted to set off again the moment we had decided upon a direction, but you still have to visit Althano, haven't you? And if I know my brother, he'll be on the cusp of discovering something vital to our success, if he hasn't already. I'm content to stay here and consider our options for the time being, but don't keep me waiting too long, eh? Of course. If I ever kept you waiting, you'd probably kill me. Alright, so now we need to go... Find Alphano, who is in Ulmor, Elmor, or whatever it is, I think. And that's like, I think that's the place with the fucking, like, rich ass people who just kind of are like, oh, yes, the end of the world, mm, yes, quite. You know, they, they just don't care, I, I think. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure. Alright. Where do we need to go again? The Tenmos Rookery. Now you can call me lazy all you want for using the teleport, uh, the Ethernet shards and stuff, but there's a reason why they have Ethernet shards, you know? So that you don't have to, you know, walk a lot. It's very considerate if you ask me. Um, your face is unknown to me. What business have you at my rookery? I have a letter of introduction. Signed by the Exarch, no less. Yes, I can provide you with an Amaro for passage to, uh, Colusia? Colusia. I will pick you out a friendly well. <laughs> and there I was expecting a show. Uh, Amaro are often used for travel then. That's right. Mounts like my great friend over there are a common sight in these parts. But I gather you hail from further afield, more accustomed to chocobos, perchance. I hear there are a few places where they ride little else. <gasps> Chocobo! Hmm, 
Seeing as you are plainly unaccustomed to riding Amaru, I think it best I accompany you on this flight myself. Please do, or else I will actually die. Any Zune worthy of the name could do it, of course, but the Exarch sent you to me. Ensuring, your arrive, uh, ensuring you arrive safely is my responsibility. That person just yeeted themselves. President D? Okay, buddy. Gather your things and meet me at the Amaro Lodge. One of its junior tamers will attend to you while I ready the mounts. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting that that gate opens. Rip. <laughs> so the Amaro Lodge. All right. So how's everyone doing? Doing fucking great? Cause uh, I'm doing fucking great. Um, and I hope y'all doing great too. And if you aren't, well, I really hope I hope your day gets better. All right, you want to fly in tomorrow to Colusia? Well, I suppose if Master Dejema is going with you, wait here, please. The master should be along with the mount shortly. You can now travel to Colusia. Speak with the aspiring Amaro tamer to fly to the island. Cool. Let's see what's up. The whistling breeze, mute. The pounding surf, frozen. Time itself takes a breath. At light's edge, all is perfectly still. The world captured in a painting, locked in a moment. Music, faint and fleeting, drifts coastward on the lifeless air. And in the distance, Beyond the broken earth, a city beckons. That looks like some carnival kind of shit right there. Like, you know, carnival. And like Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Also, can we get an Amaro mount? Like, I, I don't really want one. They're like dragon birds. I love them. Alright. Let's see what he has to say. We are arrived. This is the Cracked Shell Beach on the eastern coast of Colusia. You should be safe here for the present. What do you mean by, I should be safe? Is is it not safe here or something? Compared to the mainland, Sin Eater attacks are far less prevalent, and the native beasts are not any more dangerous than elsewhere. It is the people you should be wary of. Uh-oh. Spy you that city in the distance, that is Elmore, the island's main settlement. It rivals the Crystarium in scale, and was once an ally in our battle against the Abomination. So once. What happens? Like, what happened? For years, the Elmorian elite have fancied themselves the masters of what remains of our broken world. They have gone so far as to offer the leaders of other settlements their protection, if we bend the knee. But to say their ideals are questionable would be putting it mildly. The Crystarium is one among many who resist their heavy-handed authority. And while we are not at war, our relationship with Elmore is strained at best. It may be wise to conceal your ties with the Exarch during your stay here, and especially in the vicinity of the city. I see. I'll keep that in mind. I'm glad we understand each other. Now the Exarch has instructed me to divulge a secret that should make finding your friend a good deal easier. Listen closely. Alright. Let's see what the secret is. Like, is it like a secret word? Secret... He's still tied. Alright. If you head south along the coast, you will eventually come to a fisherman's shack. A friend of the Crystarium lives there, a man who goes by the name of Abor. Or Ebor? Ebor keeps an eye on everything that happens in Colusia, and will be able to point you in the direction in the right direction. Just hand him a sprig of, t of time that will let him know you can be trusted. Here, this should be enough. Find your friend. I will stay here with you tomorrow until you are ready to return. Awesome. I like how it looks like it's getting dark and then it goes bright again. Alright. <gasps> That's a kaboo! A kaboo! Alright. Oh yeah, also, I have... I have bike. I have a motorcycle. I love this. 
Like, what kind of journey through, like, a desolate wasteland is complete without, like, some sort of, like, bike? Oh, I'm gonna get spotted here. Yeet! What are you after? Fish? Crab? I think I've got an eel in a barrel somewhere, if you've a taste for them. Actually, here's some time. Oh, I do love a bit of time. Chuck some in the pan and it's a bloody festival of fa uh, flavor. Now, what is it I can do for you? Can't say as there's been many up uh, major upsets to report these past few days. I'm looking for a friend. Uh, an elven boy, you know, Alphano. Uh, Alphano, eh? I know the one. Our young champion of the downtrodden. Elmore's richer than all of Novrant put together. But it's a fresh... Uh, sorry, it's a different story for them as... What? For them as live outside the city. Most spend every waking moment just trying to stay alive, which makes your friend's dedication to helping others stand out all the more. Aye, I can hazard a guess as to where he is now. Get a message to him. But you'll need somewhere quiet to meet. Away from Brian eyes. Make for still tide. That's the fishing village just up the path there. You're looking for a rundown excuse of a tavern that lo that the locals call the Leaky Keel. Wait there and I'll see that Alphano joins you. Yes, my boy, please. All right, kids. Whoa, sorry. Uh, remember to lock your hot bars, or else you might drag your keys off. Cause I accidentally dragged my sprint button. Um, my sprint button off my hop bar and I needed it to run away from a mechanic and I died so be careful be very careful in the right love me some good crunch god it's really hot in California right now like not as hot, but still relatively hot. I don't even know what the temperature is right now. I'm I'm probably guessing like around the 80s, 90s. Actually, I think it's 80s, but whatever. All right, let's wait here for our boy, blessed boy. Uh, this is your first time in this tavern. It's customary to buy a drink if you mean to loiter. What will you be having? Can we choose? Yes! Ale, mead, or water? Mm. I'll have some ale. A fine choice. And what will you be paying with? I have gill. Does that work? Well now, those are exotic. Where did you come by coins like that? I'm sorry, dear. I don't doubt that they have value, but I don't have a touchstone to test their purity, and I'm not about to go begging from uh, for one from the neighbors, so we'll just have to come to some other arrangement. Um, I can help you around. Nah, here's an idea. There's a common, uh, there's a common to the north where we grow our vegetables, uh, but lately the pests have been eating more of them than we have. What do you say to a bit of extermination work? I want you to squash any vermin you find, then visit the caretaker and give him an earful from me for sleeping on the job. He'll be in the old silo next to the fence, snoring like it's not. Do that for me, and you can laze about here as long as you like. Alright. That's fair to me. Alright, so... What direction did she say? Oh, there's a fate. Shadow over Stiltide. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one. Let's, let's see what it is first. Is it just a... One boss, or is it a multiple? Uh oh. Oh, hobgoblin. Ah! I could actually, probably, right? Should I? Oh, give me a lot of XP. You know what? Let's check it out. I don't like that, Gobu. Let's try it. A 
I think we just have to kill them, right? Yeah, it looks that way. Alright, um... I guess we can. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, I accidentally aggroed. That's unfortunate. Hello? Can I hit this thing, please? Oh, come on. No, I, I need to balance my mana. Hey, chill. Is that a person over there? No, that's just the hobgoblin. Hey! About 10 minutes, alright. Yeah, I can probably finish this. It'll take a chunk out of this video, but... Oi! My whole camera is swiveling. Yo, this music is really nice. Alright. Oh, I forgot to embolden. Huh. That would have uh, been helpful, huh? Also, maybe closing the map would help. Actually, can we finish this before time? Maybe. This way is a good boo. Well, it's not even a good boo, it's like a. What do you call it? A more. Mallet. Mal. Mal. Maltash? That's great. God, it's really hot. I need to turn on the AC. I swear I'm gonna be sweating bullets. I think one more should do it, right? I hope so, at least. According to my calculations, it'll take one more kill before we complete this fate. Yep. Oh, bicolor gemstones, huh? Uh, bicolor gemstones exchange with gemstone traders. Completing these fates. Ooh. Sh oh wait, it is shared fate from travel. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Alright. It's nice to know. Oh my god. <laughs> my freaking. I have. S oh, I see that either current. No, go away, Whiptail. I'm trying to get either currents. Alright, punk. Oh, haha. We are all Gucci. Oh wait, you know what I just realized? I didn't complete the uh, Aether Currents for, uh, ba 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 what do you call it? Amarang. Mm. Wait a second. Wait, there's a bunch of quests that... Oh. Oh, you know what? That's probably, yeah, it's, it's in these areas that I don't have yet. And I can't get there, I don't think, because... Yeah, it's all, like, blocked off. I think we can get there via this area. In the Lakeland. Yeah, see, we're gonna have to walk around. 
Okay. Alright, cool. Nice to know. Um, switch the field. So that way. Pestilent swarm. Alright, that's one. And there's the other one. Oh, there's two. Nice. I still love the animations on Flare and like for Holy. It's so good. All right, so we want to wake the uh, the guy in the silo up, huh? Just be like, "What the wake the fuck up, you bitch!" We did your goddamn work for you, yo man. The response: Maybe you need to knock louder. All right. No response. Perhaps the occupant is hard of hearing. Knock again! There you go. You hear a faint squeaking from the room beyond. Time to burst in and save the day, brave adventurer! <laughs> what? Hello? No one is home, and judging by the lack of furniture, they haven't been for some time. The nod scraps of vegetables on the floor suggest rats have taken up residence in their absence. Oh, he dead. Oh, he dead ass, dude. Speak with Eva. All right. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, he he dead. He gone. No. Hello. Welcome back, dear. What did that good-for-nothing caretaker have to say for himself? What if this is all a setup? Gone? Hmm. Must have left to join the rest of the hopefuls. Um, hopefuls? In Gate Town. Outside Elmore? You don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? And there I was, thinking you were another dreamer. Well, never mind all that. Take a seat wherever you like, dear. You've more than earned it. I'll even throw in, an throw in another drink on the house. <gasps> Free drinks! Yeah! Hell yeah! Let's get fucking wasted, dude! Why are those two bottles the ones that are like different colored? And how is business today, Mistress Theva? Ah! That's my boy! He has a poncho? Yo! Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. That's my boy! Alvino! Tis good to see you, my friend. It's good to see you too. The barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, wow, well, for no, you really are a dear. He is a, a very sweet boy. Well, I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? Where's my reunion hugs? I want to hug my babies. Look at them. It seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma. And Yotsuyu. Yeah, it's 
It's been forever. It has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. But the time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. Aww. Me? I was more worried about you. Huh. Alize said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. Oof. But I believe an exchange of news is in order. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. Sure. I see. Both the Exarch and Dalize told me what they knew of events, but I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. Nope. It really isn't. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. No, definitely. She, she'd love to hear something good for once. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the Eighth Umbral Calamity. Of course. Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description, the catalyst for the Calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. The Black Rose. Which can only mean one thing. Black Rose. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Oh boy. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped. But so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. Hmm. In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. Yeah, definitely. It's just... Oh my god, and then like, cause since we met with Alize and we learned like more of like the transformation and everything, like of what happens, we witnessed the transformation of um, of Tesline, you know, into a Sin Eater. So, it's, it's fucking terrible. That is what brought me to the gates of Yulmor. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure? You know, I'm always... I'm always ready for another adventure. And so we take to the road once more. Just the two of us? I'm... God. It's so good to be reunited with them. Like, I... Like, we're not even, like, connected, like, all that much. But, God, I feel so relieved to see them again. Like, this game does such a fucking great job at doing that shit. And I'm like, my boy. All right. Open arms, closed gates. Assuming you have no objections, let us make our way directly into the city uh, and to the city outskirts. If our time, uh, if we time our arrival just right, you may be lucky enough to see why I have yet to set foot in 
you more, despite my best efforts to do so. Come, from here we must head west and then cross a small bridge. Alright, well, we'll do that in the next episode, actually. Oh, there are side quests. But, whatever. So, we will do that in the next episode. But, for now, I still haven't come up with like a, like a, a, an, an outro. All I just say is take care and be safe. But, like, I gotta, gotta, you know, 300 IQ, I gotta come up with a new one. Um, who knows, maybe one video I'll just suddenly change it and everyone's gonna be like what um but yeah so i will see you all in the next episode take care be safe